Hi, my name is Patrick and I'd like to talk to you, to you today about a book called The Snowball, written by Elise Schroeder and published in 2008. It's a biography of Warren Buffett, the richest or one of the richest men on earth. And it's an interesting story. Warren Buffett was, is a simple man, but always had high ambitions. So even in, as an early young child, he already said, I, one day I want to become rich. At age 35, I want to be a millionaire. His father sold insurances and later um, started a stock brokerage during the Great Depression. So a, a good sign of courage. Um, Warren would read all the uh, financial publications that he could put his hands on in his father's uh, company and soon already um, became an entrepreneur. He would sell uh, chewing gum or fish out the golf balls from the lake to resell them later on uh, as an example. He married at age 21 to a girl named Susie and they had a combined uh, wealth of about $20,000 and decided to move to New York to join uh, Graham's company where Warren quickly became one of the star investors. And when Graham died, he could have taken over the company, but he really just wanted to be with Graham, who told him his fundamental um, way of investing, which was to seek out companies that keep the cost down, that make money, and that are undervalued at Wall Street. And at this point, he bought 350 shares from Geico, which later on he would own. Um, he would own. At age 26, Susie and him, they had about $180,000 on their bank account and Warren decided to found his own company. And he had some initial investors, his aunts and uncles and father-in-law. And all of these people would make uh, $3 million for every $1,000 that they put into that new company. Warren said, I'm going to participate. I would like to participate one half on the upside, which is beyond 4%. And I'm also going to participate one quarter on the downside. Um, he started to invest and into many different companies, very successfully into American Express, not so successfully in Ber Berkshire Hathaway, where he had to lay off uh, a lot of people. He bought 2,000 shares at that point for $7.50. 25 years later, these shares were worth almost $3,000. Um, Buffett is known to be an open man with lots of integrity and he's always said um, I'm putting reputation way above integrity. Another thing that I'd like to um, remind myself many times in business about something that Buffett has said is um, if you want to be successful or if a company is not successful it's not because you have missed some opportunities, but it's because you have made some major mistakes. Or if you are successful, it's because you have not made some major mistakes. So maybe you do miss an opportunity if it's an in investment, you, there was an investment you didn't do. But um, the important thing is not to make a big mistake and make a big investment that ultimately will fail. Um, he has donated 83% of his wealth to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation without being specially mentioned, but all he wants is that the money spent rather quickly to help people who were not as uh, successful as himself. It's a great book. I recommend that you read it. I'm also co-founder of Get Abstract. We have the summary online and um, go and, and, and read it. It's a really good book. Okay, thanks.